Welcome everyone, Addy Miz the Woo here as the recording of this Wednesday, February 28th, the last day of this month, 2024. March begins as I'm filming this tomorrow, and I believe the first official day of spring is about two and a half, two, two and a half weeks from right now, but that is not stopping me from wearing an appropriate, colorful, flower-ific t-shirt, and I'm gonna be heading over to Epcot Center for the very first day, the opening day of another festival, which involves topiaries, food, whatever the heck else I end up stumbling upon, no real rhyme or reason, no game plan, I should say, for Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. One just ended. They just did the Festival of the Arts. There's a bunch of festivals. Festival of the Arts, Flower and Garden's happening now, Festival of the Arts. There's also Food and Wine. There, oh, and Festival of the Holidays. A lot of good ones. Another one begins today. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Holy crud, I stand corrected. I didn't realize it was a leap year. Tomorrow will not, in fact, be eking into March. Tomorrow will be the 29th. It happens every so every four years. It's a leap year. Dang, okay. 29 days in February this year. I didn't even realize. I'll look at the calendar. File this one under things you will currently not see in the state of Disneyland at the moment. West Coast edition. There are no reservations needed on the very first day of a very popular event. Opening day. When it's circled like that, it means it's a good to go day for pass holders. Look at this. Reservations not required. I love Walt Disney World pass holder goodness. And I have a feeling there's going to be quite a bit of orange bird goodness at this festival. You usually get a lot of figment and orange bird when it comes to Epcot. And I'm probably going to end up getting some pens for my pen board. I like collecting pens. Tussy date stamped event pens. Right, Bob? My Tiki collection's coming along. My friend Tiki J out in California gave me this a while back. Pretty dang awesome. This is the Tiki mug that John Ritter is drinking out of in that iconic Three's Company episode where he gets a little loopy. Isn't that cool? Tiki. Under the archway. Going under the archway. It's a song. We call it Epcot. That was about the best Walt I can do. That's a statement he made. Stop at 7-Eleven on the way in. I do like Joffrey's coffee, but it's a lot smaller. Joffrey's are about half, eh, three quarters the size of this. I always like a good large coffee. And I know Starbucks over by World Celebration Gardens is going to be so busy. And 7-Eleven coffee is pretty dang good. Get caffeinated first. I could take the tram. Or, I could just hoof it. That's not that far, I'm gonna walk. Now I've heard there's a ton of new snacks today. Again, I've been trying to eat a little healthier, do things a little bit different. No fried food, no sodas, and no dessert. So I'm trying to go with some savory items. And the reason I'm kind of like stalling here is because the monorail is about to go by. So I'm not really gonna focus too much on the food. Even I might have one or two options. But I'm not gonna go too wild on the food. Try to make little changes. Just wanna check out the vibe. When I think Flower and Garden Festival, I think of a few things. I think of the butterfly tent. I also wanna to try to see Winnie the Pooh or maybe one of the other characters catching butterflies over by the Journey to Imagination Pavilion. But also, Topiary Overload, starting off with the ones in front of Spaceship Earth, which change every time. Kind of excited to, to see the layout of the different ones, and if there's going to be any new ones, not only in front of Spaceship Earth, but also in front of World Celebration Gardens, which is the new area that opened up that has the Walt Disney sculpture, Walt the Dreamer statue, topiaries all scattered into new areas. Nice to have the new land over. I don't think this is my, the new area is not my favorite, but it's, it's all right. You know, it's nice to have some new walking space when you're cutting over from Club Cool or over towards Test Track towards the land, that middle section behind, but not the backside of water, but the backside of Spaceship Earth. There's gonna be a lot of topiaries today, so heads up, topiary 
overload. All right, I gotta say, I like the Figma topiary. Usually the Figma topiary is over, way over in front of where his, like, his attraction is, but this time he's right there on that new planner that used to be where the Fountain of Nations was. All right, you have, you have the old school shirt on right there. These are kind of tough to find, the Join Me Shally. I don't think I've sold those in about five or six, maybe more years than that. Yep, that's the last time you said uh, that the store was going out of sale. That's what I said, Nice. Yep. Pulling the stanchions through, pulling the stanchions through. Okay, the creation shop, I love merch. This is the line, now granted, I did not get here at Rope Drop. The line is not too terribly bad, but there is a little bit of a line for the former mouse gears now called the creation shop. So I'm gonna hop in the line and get some swaggage. Also up front, in front of Spaceship Earth, when you're walking in, they have topiaries from the new Disney film, Wish. Now I have not seen Wish, it is on my list. I want to probably, I'm trying to try to watch it in the next week or two. I've heard kind of mixed reviews on it. All right, there's definitely a big congregation of people over inside of here to get the, the new merch. You got the spirit jersey here. I'm not really a big spirit jersey guy, but I do like little flushes and I do like little orange bird right here. So you got the orange bird, but then you got also this. Take a look at this. All right, these are awesome. This is not just a little mug, but you can fr do fresh squeeze OJ in there. You take the orange, stick it on there, and you slither it around until you get the fresh squeeze OJ. This is very tempting. This is $24.99, but that would be pretty cool. I might have to buy one of these at some point during the, the tenure of this event right here. Uh, I always say Flower and Garden Festival is technically the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Limit two per guest while supplies last. Once the supplies are out, you can buy more than two per guest. If, once the supplies are gone, there's, there's no two rule anymore. I, I was trying to make a joke out of that, but it really didn't make sense. This almost looks like a pin right here, right in the middle of the ears. The ears are so cute. This is like a candle holder, correct? No, it's like a little, it's got a little light down in there. And there's also these, which looks like a little orange juice jar right here. Kind of like a milk jug, but it's not for milk, it's for orange juice and it has the orange bird on it. All right, this may or may not be a cutting board. Can't tell, yeah, I think it's a cutting board right there as well. We got Mini over here, which is another one of the icons of the event. So we got Mini and we got Orange Bird so far. I think last year it was Snow White and maybe Figma. I think it was Snow White and another character. This would be a deep rabbit hole to go down, these little trash cans. I haven't started collecting these trash cans yet, but they are pretty neat. And I've also been kind of leaning towards more, not Hawaiian shirts, but more like Aloha style shirts. Cause like, you know, it's not called a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, the Aloha shirt. Yeah, you know the reason for that? Because Tim every is here. shirt in Hawaii is a Hawaiian right. shirt. I think we talked about that we before. Did. We did. But this is by a guy called Rain Spooner. Okay. It's a nice high-end. I like it. Aloha shirt. I the might only thing have that I don't like it. is this part right here. You don't like date stamp stuff? I don't like that. You just don't like it? Be, okay. Yeah, I want it to be like classic. Gotcha. No date defined. Does the state of Florida still embrace Orange Bird or is it just technically Disney now? I feel like Disney. They took bought it. the rights? Yeah, something happened. Yeah. yeah. You can wear this shirt to Hawaii next time. Yeah, you like this? It's very colorful, right? I like it. Yeah. I could see you. I was sitting in connections you for were? creations. Connection cafe? We're in we're in creations, creations right now. I don't even know if I'm in focus. I think I'm in focus. Let's play again. Sure. Let's play a, oh I'm in focus. Yeah, look, look at that. It's the G7X. Sometimes it actually does its job. Ooh, I also like a good Turvis tumbler. This is kind of neat. Now obviously I, at my place I already have a lot of mugs and I always have a, always already have a lot of like beverage containers, but this is really dang cute. What was the joke you just said? Orange you glad you met me. Orange you glad. Yeah, I can see which is a pun. Yeah, it's on the shirt. Is that a pun? Oh, it says it on there. It says it right there. It says, met, met me. Yeah, orange, you, you glad, glad you met me. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Is that 79 bucks? No, oh, the no. spirit jersey. Oh, the spirit jersey. The third icon, the third character of this. I think this is, uh, what's this called? Spike? Is this Spike the bee? Something, something. It's a bee. This is, I'm not sure what the, the bee's name is. So that's the third one so far that I've seen, so far as far as the icons go. And here's the different pens. This is a pass holder pen. All right, this is the pass holder pen. I like this one better than the other one because the other one just has a traditional flower pot on it. And because this is date stamped and has the, is this, what's this bee's name? Buzz? No, it's not Spike. Buzz. It's Spike. There's two of them that look exactly Buzzy, like that. Buzzy's a whole other Epcot uh, Thank you. icon from back in the day. Yeah, but also in the new Mickey Mouse cartoons, yeah. Buzz is the bee. Oh. 
But this is Spike. Spike, the Spike. yeah, because they used to have the Spike the Beast Spork. Remember that? Yeah. It's like a bag. Oh, it's like a pot holder bag. You put Do your you, sod, put, you, put you put a flower pot in there? in there? You put your sod in there. Put your sod in here. Yeah. One, you one put tiny your sod in there. One tiny sod piece. It's got. You know what? Does the roots grow through the bottom of it? No, that would be like a more, a more. Uh, I don't know what that is, Tom. It says the beautiful flowers. Okay. Epcot Flower and Garden Festival 2024. It's twenty dollars. Okay. It's washable, like there's a, the wash instructions on it. We're spending a lot of time on this. I'm very, I'm interested. I want to know what it is. All right, there's a couple more. So there's a sort of, I've seen at least four so far. So I'm going to buy the one I had that has the, the B on it. But I also like this one right here. Oh, we got some Beauty and the Beast topiaries. There's Belle and the Beast right there, which is interesting because they are not located in front of Spaceship Earth, but they are shown here on the festival pen. Now this is the normal pen that anybody could buy. The other one with the B on it is an annual pass holder pen, which you're supposed to have the annual pass to buy. All right, there's even a mystery pen set here. So you got the mystery pen and you could get one of one, two, three, four, you get one of 10 mystery pens if you buy this particular box. And even the orange bird is in there too on the, on the bottom right corner. And there's also the Florida original Orange Bird Magic Bands over here as well. So if Magic Bands are your thing, they got them. They got the Magic Band Pluses. Right, I got this little crossbody action going on here. So I just talked to a cast member. There are nine pins for this event. Nine total. I'm only going to be. I'm going to be getting. I'm going to be getting the three that I have. But yeah, there's there's nine pins. All right, with my discount, total cost on these was forty-seven dollars and change. You get an annual pass holder discount, so I took advantage of it. And over out here by the outdoor. Or tope, well, outdoor, not, not that there's indoor topiaries, but these topiaries of Minnie over there, Mickey right here, Pluto right here. They have the little gazebos open with the same merch they have inside of former Mouse Gear's creation shop now. Look at uh, Mickey right there holding a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, I can kind of get, there's a little bit of a photo pass line kind of developing here, so I'm kind of off to the side. Showcase the spaceship Earth and Mickey, Mickey and Men. This area over here is called Blossoms of Fragrance. You got all the, obviously this is a, flower festival so there's tons of flowers very very beautiful through here you got all the different pots and you got this butterfly this wingspan with the flowers all on it I just love the the look of all the flowers along the side there mint feels the crisp scent of mint goes hand in hand with the feelings of springtime what memories does this refreshing fragrance stir for you oh you can smell let me smell that Oh, that's very minty. I just smelled it. It's very, very minty. It smells good. It smells, I love mint. Reminds me of like a mint julep. All right, there's a pretty good view there of the uh, spaceship Earth, and you have the little like bird houses over there. I believe those are like bird houses. And then you got the, oh, my uh, magic band just kind of just lit up, just did something. My magic band just vibrated. Did you know that a strawberry is not a berry? It's not? And a grape is? What? What are we, what kind of society are we living in? Things are backwards. Cats and dogs are friends. Isn't that a Ghostbusters quote? I think so, Cats yeah. and dogs living together? Yeah, that was from Ghostbusters 2. Was it? I think so. Maybe it was Ghostbusters 1. It was Bill Murray. He's the one yeah. that said it. He was in Caddyshack. Yeah, that's true. He was in Caddyshack. Also in Quick Change. Ah, uh, and? Meatballs. Groundhog Day. All right, we're gonna head over into the, what's in here, Tim? Wait, they said some, some other guests informed us that the Florida Fresh Food is over here. There's also a duck. I was gonna say that's duck. So Florida Fresh is over here temporarily. Yeah, we're thinking we need some lobster over here. Also Gary's up there, but he's he's scooting off very quickly. <laughs> he's in he's in a mood for some Florida Fresh. Alright, I had to get this monorail shot real quick before going into the Odyssey. Almost missed it. Gary, you know what kind of flowers these are? Petunias? Are those petunias? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Are these petunias? It's a geranium. It's a geranium? I don't know what a geranium is, I'll be honest. I don't know what a petunia is. What does a chrysanthemum look like? I think chrysanthemum's a mum. That's... Aren't these the things You that... have a tattoo of a chrysanthemum? Yeah. Is that... Are those petunias? Or is... That's a rose. You should get a petunia tattoo. I should get a petunia tattoo. You should get a petunia tattoo, Gary. I may have you one have the somewhere. Epcot tattoo. I do, yeah. Figment's not in there. No, no he's not. Yeah. My wife has figment going down her side, though. Love it. Have you seen the figment topiary yet? Uh, not yet. Yeah, it's over in uh, what's called World Celebration Gardens now. Well, it looks nice. cool. I say it's not a chrysanthemum on my arm. It's not a chrysanthemum? It's a lotus. It's you a don't even know what's on your arm? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what tattoos I got either. Guy... This, I got a fruit bat with laser eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the Alamo. 
So I'll always remember the Alamo. Is there a bike in the basement or no? No, no bike. Kiwi's in there somewhere. So now I'm really curious. Am I going to find anything that's savory that's not super, super, super unhealthy? Try not to eat fried food, so that would disregard that. I'll get the orange sesame. How's it going? The citrus blossom. So is this the is this the papa that's supposed to be over by the entryway into World Showcase? This is over the actual stand. There's somebody sitting there telling people to come over here now. It's closed, but it's next to Imagination. So if you come in the Imagination entrance, the World Showcase. It's over here. Yeah, I think they're doing it because the orange bird sippers are here, so. Ooh, they have an orange bird sipper? There's two in one. You also got the Florida Fresh booth in here. Yeah, this is the one at the entrance, Imagination. Pork belly, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and they have strawberry shortcake. I don't see anything fried there. I think you can do that. I can do that? Yeah. Pork belly. I think I might wait and just survey survey the options. It's, ooh, the lobster tail. Yeah. That's grilled. Yeah. Maybe I'll get that. Yeah, I think I'll All right, that is a cucumber watermelon slushy. What'd you get? This is lobster tail. The lobster tail. And strawberry the strawberry shortcake. shortcake. You got the Save Ferris shirt on. You still doing the YouTube? Yeah, when I can. What's your, remind me your channel name. Tourist Trap. The Tourist but Trap. You're back in Florida. Back in Florida after being... Drinking a little... Uh, non-alcoholic. A non-alcoholic beverage. What was that again? Cucumber melon slushy. I would say it looked like watermelon. $5. Almost. Okay. That's Not a typical bad. price. All right, enjoy. Thank you. All right, this is what we're dealing with. $11.75 lobster tail right here. The thing about these food... I also got a bottle of water as well. What'd you get? I got the Cubanito. How much was that? Six fifty. Mine was like almost twelve bucks. Yeah, that's why I went for that. Orange bird sipper on point. I can't tell. I think that's the one they had in previous years. Uh, Same one. Yeah, the Dasani's. They, the they said, "You hope you don't mind the Dasani's are room temperature." Yeah, seventy-eight so degrees. Little, uh, it's got to be. Oh, uh, room temperature, <laughs> salty water. Yep. Coca-Cola's worst product. I think it's Coca Cola's worst product. I notice that the table almost matches my shirt, or shirt matches the table. So this is a lobster tail. Do I eat the whole thing or do I pull the meat out of there? I think eat the, the meat out? Pull the meat out? I pull it out. All right? There we go. There we go. Yeah, you probably don't want to eat that part. Yeah. Look at I that. think you just hang it. And then Do just, I? And then just eat That's eleven dollars and seventy-five cents of goodness right there. They got to eat one bite then. Mm. It tastes good. I never had a real one, so I don't know. You never had a real Cuban sandwich? The real Cuban I've ever had is Wawa. <laughs> okay. Mm. Do they have them in Central Florida? I don't know. Probably. I've never been to Miami. That's really good. I don't know if it's twelve dollars good, but that's good. Tim, you brought your own silverware, right? Johnny there. Appleseed. I got water. What would you do if you eat sushi? You what have you a mean? pair of chopsticks? No, you don't have to use chopsticks to eat sushi. Over in front of Test Track is Brunch Cot, where I heard they have a corn on the cob option. All right, I stand corrected. Brunch Cot does not have corn on the cob. They have the, the garlic one or whatever. Or yeah, the corn. Yeah, so it was a trailer and trail men or something. Okay, so it's not here. The vegan food. Okay. Right over there. I gotta go find that. They have avocado toast. Hey, look at it. They have biscuits and gravy, and they have fried cinnamon roll bites, and a fruit loop shake, which I think I've had that in past years. I'm not gonna get that now. They also have Joffrey's coffee with, with alcohol right there, too. Farmer's Feast right here. Grilled street corn on the cob, $5.75. They also have veal. They have strawberry rhubarb, and they also have grilled street corn on the cob, so I'm gonna get that. Oh, nice. Another monorail going by. Nice little visual there with the flowers and everything. And gonna go ahead and purchase my corn on the cob option from here on the side of the booth. All right, that is the deal. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Check out the deal also. Oh, I'm sure. I'll stick with the. I'll stick with the one from here. Molo World of Shoe and Grill. We were instructed to go over towards the grill to get the grilled corn on the cob. Yeah, take a look at that array of delicious corn being prepared over there on the grill itself. Look at that, he's put new, new stalks of corn on there. Okay, and then she puts it in there, spins it around in the seasoning uh, there, put, can I get layers it the on, puts the cheese and the other 
first. Oh yeah, that looks pretty tasty. This is my second corn on the cob in two days. I had one last night at the DVC After Hours event. Over at Animal Kingdom they had a corn on the cob. Maybe corn on the cob might be my, my new thing. I do like some corn, and the fact that it's grilled is nice. It has a little cheese on it, a little flavoring on there too. You can see the little grill marks. Now this is pretty stuff. wild seeing all this empty over here. All this was full of boost during the, the Festival of the Arch right here. Now it's all completely cleared out. There he is. Check out Groot right there. Greenhouse Mix Volume 1. Yeah, so evidently the mixtape at one point was moving, but at the moment it's not moving. The Greenhouse Mixtape. Oh, wait, and then there's there's Groot. I guess the actual Groot isn't a topiary. A topiary would just be the base there and then the foliage around the mixtape. All right, got the Lion King topiaries over here. These have been out before, but in totally different spots. A lot of things shifted in different areas than they were in previous years. Oh yeah, for example, check it out. There's Timon and Pumbaa over here from the Lion King too. So this is where the Figma topiary usually is, but not also since I'm over here, I'm heading for the DVC lounge room. All right, turns out there was a 45 minute wait to get up to the DVC lounge. So I'm gonna head over to the butterfly tent instead. Also known as Butterfly Landing. That's what they're calling it. You got all the different stages there, the larva and all. There's a butterfly right down there. That kind of almost looks like a almost moth-like that butterfly. And I've also noticed on opening day you don't see quite as many butterflies. There's one flying by. But as the season goes on, you'll see more and more butterflies in here as they are transferred. There we go. You can kind of see a few of them fluttering around in here. There goes one fluttering around. There's a few down in there. All of them just fluttering to and fro. Up oh, there we go, right here. This one's perched. You get a little perched butterfly right here with its wings expand. Very beautiful. This is like a staple of this event. Trying to get it to land on your hand. Yeah. Now right over there is Woody and Bo Peep. You can't go that way to get to World Showcase. All that is walled off. This is where they had the art paint by number art wall during the last festival. But you can't go that way. So just to give correspondence, there's during to imagination as there's, there's Bo Peep and Woody. You can't go that way. You have to circle around. And from this angle right here on the little waterway, you can see the floating flower. Oh, there's a there's a goofy topiary over there. It looks like Goofy is like smelling the flower, not stopping smelling the roses over there. I didn't realize it'll walk down that path instead of the path I'm on. And I'm kind of zoomed in, but you can see Goofy leaning over there, smelling the flowers. All right, here's Encanto. So this was the one that was in front of Spaceship Earth last year. Now they have it at the entryway into into World Showcase as well. She sings one of the best songs of the whole movie. Gotta get a little, uh, little selfie style. With the ball right here. Very nice. And this shirt definitely pops out. Definitely pops when you're looking at the camera on it. It's very bright. You can definitely see me coming a mile away. Alright, finally making my way now into World Showcase. Start going in on the Mexico Pavilion side. I'm gonna do the loop, see what I can see. Possibly try another treat or two, or snack I should say. Food option. I'm gonna call it a treat, but food option as, as I'm walking around. I got the Stave Church over there, the Stave Church over there, but here is the tr the troll has moved over here now where the barn Santa usually performs during Festival of the Holidays. A little stage here, and now there's a topiary troll, which usually is right over on the other side of the church on the entrance into Frozen Ever After, but now the troll's here waving hello, get a little friendly troll. It's always good to see friendly trolls. There, there, there are some. All right, so this is normally where the troll is. This is the Anna and Elsa little topiary. This is usually where the troll is. Also, I should probably break this out and start looking at some of the stuff. Like this is the festival passport. Passport, of course, starts today right there. If I want a hot dog review, I'm gonna go with the hot dog guy. I refer to you, what's, what's your actual Instagram? It's hot dogs at Disney. Hot dogs Instagram. at Disney, and you take photos of hot dogs all over the park. All over the parks. I don't have YouTube yet. It's strictly Instagram photos of hot dogs at Disney. Yeah, so and you got, you got a, whole, a whole bushel down there. A bushel of hot dogs, yeah. I think that's a technical term. Uh, the genus and species is. Did yeah. you try anything here at the at the festival? Yeah. So the pineapple promenade has a spicy hot dog. I think this is like the fifth year they've had it, and I've had it every single year of the park uh, festival, and it's terrible every time. So it's that's so your review. <laughs> it's terrible. So imagine like, every year I go back and I try it again to give it another chance. It's like if there's a bad movie in a franchise you like, you go back and rewatch it thinking like it's going to be good this time. Like will Lethal Weapon 4 be good this time? And you give it another shot and it's not good. Ooh, over here at the Lotus House they have a spicy chicken skewer. Maybe I should get, maybe I could get that. That'd probably be all right. All right, this is where what we're dealing with again. Chicken skewer right here, which looks pretty good. So I got another Dasani. This was not room temperature. 
but chicken skewer looks like it's got some chives on it and some little seeds and some sauce there we go a little chicken skewer action and i must say it is getting warm this is the warmest day at least in the last couple months that i think here in central florida I mean, it's not hot by any means but yeah it's, it's warm and it wouldn't be a proper festival with food oh, bubbles coming by bubbles coming by if you weren't eating on a trash can we're over here at the bamboo area there's little bamboo trees over here in front of the china pavilion getting out of the this is like the warmest day in florida that's been in a while right yeah it's, it's, a, here now. It feels it's like, not even spring yet. Spring no. isn't for two more weeks. No. At least we got our we got our water to keep us uh, keep us hydrated. This looks pretty good. All right, going in. Uh, we can get oh, we could buy the uh, parasols they call them yeah. over there. Here we go, going in. Dude, the sauce is weird. I don't like the sauce. You don't like sauce? I don't like this sauce. It's very tart. It's like a tart, not tart tur sauce but it's a tart sauce. All right, I figured out what it was. It is a creamy peanut sauce. Spicy mala chicken skewer with creamy peanut sauce. That's why it has that taste. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. It's just the lotus. It was good. The chicken was good. All right, got Snow White and Dopey over on this side. And over on the other side, here are the backside of the seven dwarfs right here facing the other way. This is pretty awesome. I really love this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's Snow White. So why the heck have they not opened the secondary friendship boat thing open? They have the one way on the other side, but this secondary one has been closed since the parks reopened in 2020. Weird. Maybe the dwarfs, maybe the dwarfs know why. All right, over here by the model trains, the little small miniature trains up to the Tom Corliss. When I think of those who like MGM Studios history, I think of a few people and you're one of them. Well, we met five years ago at we did. the anniversary of that. We didn't know who each other was, but I was wearing my classic MGM jacket. Yeah. And you came and you needed some video of it. And you gave me a Roger Rabbit Stage 89 magnet that I still have at my new place. That's great. That's so great you had like anything coming up at studios for the anniversary? You we gotta sure do something? We're doing that event again, but this time it is the largest ever in-person reunion of the people who built that park. So we have Bob Weiss, okay. who was the president of all of WI for six years, but he was the lead creative on that park. Uh, Eric Jacobson, who was the creative lead on Great Movie Ride. Uh, Paul Osterhout, who did the alien scene for Great Movie Ride. Okay. Uh, Kathy Rogers, who worked on GMR. Uh, we have everyone who worked on Monster Sound Show, Superstar Television, uh, Richard Vaughn, the man behind Catastrophe Canyon. That's a lot of people. The story how they did that only 11 months. It was record breaking. They couldn't believe they pulled it off. So you're going hard on the 35 for MGM. Yeah. But also 30 years of Tower Terror. So we do have oh, a that's true. people yeah. who made Tower Terror and Mark Silverman who okay. voiced Rod Serling. Are you going to be doing them at the uh, WD... WNT Studios? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's going to be at our studio. and uh, But you can also watch from home. You don't have to come to the event. We also have streaming tickets, and all the money from the event goes to give kids the world. We're not making a set. It's oh, just I love about that. doing something to remember the park as it was. What are, what are the dates? Are they going to be on May 1st? Uh, so we're doing a little something in the park on May 1st that's free to attend, but the the bulk of it is May 3rd. We have a meet and greet with all these Imagineers yeah. uh, at the Celebration Brewing Company. And then May 4th and 5th, there's two days of panel presentations about all those attractions, the creation of the park, how it evolved from an Epcot pavilion into a working studio, it, yeah. into a theme park and a studio, and then into none of those things. <laughs> exactly. I might, have, I might have to check out some of that. Yeah, I don't know if I'll make it to all the dates, but I might make it to one of them. Okay. We'll see what happens, but it sounds very intriguing. Yeah, but stage89.com, and again, whether you buy the streaming ticket or the in-person, all money goes to give kids something. Sounds good. I love it. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Adam. All right, over here at the American Pavilion now. I think last year was the first year that the Tiana Topiary appeared, and I believe, I remember correctly, in the same spot as it is now. So I think uh, this is year number two for Tiana. Very, very beautiful Topiary version. And over at the Magnolia Terrace, here at the America Pavilion, next to the American Adventure. I may have invented these bifocals I'm wearing, but I've heard good things about the spicy chicken gumbo with the sausage and long grain rice. So I think I'm gonna get that. Gary, you gonna get something? I'm gonna do the muffalata panini. Okay. Maybe the uh, the bread pudding. Schneider rice and beer. Okay. Or the Ghost in the Machine double IPA. All right. I'm gonna go with the gumbo. I heard a couple people yeah. say the gumbo is pretty good. All right, that sun. Sun is up there permeating down. Found a nice little shade spot over here on the backside of American Adventure. I also went with the panini also. Okay. So I went with the gumbo and I saw the panini. 
and uh, saw what the panini was. Muffalata panini. Muffalato? Muffalata. Muffalata panini. Got, like mortadella, and, like it's it's a New Orleans sandwich. Looks I've dang had the good. version over at Port Orleans uh, French Quarter. Really? And it's, it's good, but I've never been in New Orleans to have the real deal. Okay. So I can't tell. Just much like the Cubano, I, I never had a real one to tell if it's good. So that's what you got. That's what I got. That's what I got. A bunch of lunch nice. meats and come on. Kind of is. It's like a deli sandwich. Yep. Like if New Orleans had a hoagie, this would be it. The size of po' boy. How much was this? I think they were both six twenty-five. That's a good deal for yeah. that. Yeah. I think I would rather get this than pay twice as much for that lobster tail. I'd rather get two of these. Now for the gumbo, that's a pretty good amount of gumbo too for six bucks. Yeah. I think this is probably the best deal money-wise of any of the boosts we've been to so far. Oh dang, that gumbo's good. Got a little kick to it. All right, gonna continue around. Keep keep carrying around. Obviously, looking at a lot of the topiaries, and now make it. It's definitely busy today, but not like super 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 busy. Especially over here near the France Pavilion. Just kind of continuing around World Showcase. Enjoying the day. Enjoying the warm day. Tale as old as time. True as it can be. Beauty and the Beast. Belle and the Beast. A little sunburst here. There's also the Beauty and the Beast sing-along back here. Not into it. Frozen sing-along, a thousand times better. I love Beauty and the Beast, my favorite Disney film. And I love how the clock there in the, in the center of the mirror's belly is like ticking right there. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? We were seeing that in previous years. I just thought that was like such a cool additional effect right there. That is so cool. So this line over here is the line to meet Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is no longer by the, by the butterfly pavilion catching butterflies. He's now over here in Christopher Robin's room. There's also some topiaries here. You got an elephant and you got Mickey right over here. This re reminds me of the early 2000s. My first annual pass in the year 2001. And I used to come out here all the time and watch the British Invasion Beatle cover band. And I would sit over here. They used to have benches right here. I'd sit right here. They still do concerts and things back here, but now the, the band's called something other than the, the British Invasion. I don't know what it's called now, but they still play some Beatles songs and Rolling Stones songs. And All right, bumped into Promise Hope. Check out her YouTube channel. What do you got, what do you got here? Is I know, the last time you saw me here, we were like drawing things on one another. I know. We were doing crazy art. But it was for the Festival of the Arts. It was. Hello. But today I did the Garden Graze Contest. Okay. So it's an all vegan plant-based menu. You have to get five out of the eight items and okay. then after you do, you get this for free. So that was a freebie. Yeah. Very nice, all vegan. I like <laughs> your little, sunglasses too. Thank you, from Japan, a little Japan action. What were you gonna say? You said something about the sun. No, it's just, it's really good. I think it's a free little take home. A little, little souvenir. Too, yeah. Nice, all right, <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, you too. Yes. Everyone eats on trash cans. Are you vlogging? And look who it is. It's you vlogging? Treat. It's Adam the All right, as the monorail goes by, they recommended was this cauliflower dish. I think I'm gonna, I think I might get the last meat, a little snack of the day. I'm gonna get the five dollar honey glazed cauliflower. Ooh, that bird just went by right over there, perched over there. I think the bird wanted some of my, my little veggies here and the cauliflower. It's more than just cauliflower. Some broccoli in there, carrot puree. Pretty good. I thought maybe it was hummus. I thought maybe it was. Something like that, but it's not. It's carrot puree. It's like a parody version of hummus. Fresh carrots. Oh, could this be who I think it is? Are you wearing an orange bird shirt? Oh, you're going down? you going to... That was Kevin, everyone. I was going to get the monorail and the... Monorail shot! Nice. You should start using that. You know what merch they have, right? Uh, this little guy? Yeah, orange bird. Dude, I love it. It feels like uh, Orange World merch, but yeah. like they just put orange bird on all of it. That's how it feels in the gift shop. It's good stuff. It's like the retro the like 70s stuff. I know. All right, what'd you end up getting? Great day adventure. What'd you get? So I got the chicken and waffles. Yeah. This one is for $6.50. That's not a bad price. Yeah, not a bad price. Is that melted butter on top of there? Yes. A little parsley? Is that parsley? Yeah, and it's like I think hot, hot honey on here as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's at the Honey Bistro. Yeah, so you know, right. it, it looks interesting. I would have gotten that, but I ended up with the rice pilaf and the the broccoli and the... What's wrong? 
<laughs> I'm, just, I'm just looking at Say it. Say something positive okay. for once, Kevin. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> a beautiful day out. There's so many wonderful people here today. What have you eaten that you liked? Uh, the, um, the terrarium. The terrarium was good. Last year or the years before, it was like, I think like a vegan dish okay. or something. Now it's just full on. Would you get this, Kevin? I would if I hadn't eaten the... the, the... I, think it, I don't think it looks that bad. Yeah. I think it looks What okay. do you think? Hopefully it's good. Yeah, I think it will be, yeah. Last year I tried it and I didn't really like it, but I'm giving it a try. Hopefully yeah. it's good. Stuff. But yeah. You know, I keep my batteries in my little Florida Starbucks uh, little purse thing now. Well, the Guardians of the Galaxy over there, a little mix. It kind of is, but it's Starbucks. Does it say Starbucks on it? Yeah, look, Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just on the zipper? Yeah. So, what's, what else is in here? Oh, that's all that's in here. I thought just my battery. I just told you that. I thought you had hidden little memory cards in there, maybe. No, just these. I don't care. I don't, I don't carry extra memory cards. How, how do you attach it to yourself? I keep it in my pocket. You don't. You should have like a whole little zip thing, right? Just have your battery. Oh yeah, like a land, like a, yeah. a lanyard type You'd thing. You'd be the coolest guy around. I would. Would I be? <laughs> That's cool. All right, I'm gonna document this while you're documenting it. Going in. Oh, I gotta get that reaction. Good? Good. All right, so thumbs up. Oh yeah, Squirrel is enjoying a little dessert there. A little uh, either melted ice cream or some cream on top of a, of a dessert. Check that Squirrel out there, just lapping it up. All right, we're both going different directions. Think about World Showcase. So I was over there, I did it once. Now I'm coming back around. Now you guys are coming back this way. Germany. Tampa J, Chris the girl. Hey everyone. Oh. Have you eaten a lot? Have you seen a lot of topiaries? Yes and yes. We got here a little late. Yeah. yeah. You picked the right time because it was hot earlier. Yeah, it's nice out there. It's really nice right now. Well, happy food and wine. Good to see you both. Oh, happy festival of the holidays. Happy. They're all they're all the same. Let's be honest. They're all the same. Man, I I gotta watch this back. Maybe I've been saying the wrong thing all day. Dang it. All right. Happy festival of the arts, guys. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I've done this. Be the second loop I've done around World Showcase, just stretching the legs. Ah, take a look at the sun there, kind of protruding through the little haze. Ah, here we go. Here's some. Here's a cocoa topiaries right here as well. That's pretty cool looking. And then you see Spaceship Earth in between both of them. Uh, for what? Are you been looking? You're wearing the shirt. Where in the world is Adam? The That's an old school shirt right there. That is a. Old school. What did you get? What is this right here? What is this? What's, no, give me a little review on this. What is that? What is that? Chocolate the... mousse terrain. Ter okay. Ter ter it's good. It's, it's good. Anything chocolate is good. I like that shirt. That's like a spoof shirt on Carmen San Diego. You ever see the where? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's what that is. Look, 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 look how worn out it is. Like that's it's, be, that's a uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't sold those in like five six years. So that's a. Oh, at least yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Yep, I know. I see you down there. Yep, I'm waiting for the monorail too. I was just hoping this would be a really good monorail shot there, Waterbird. But no sign of the monorail yet. It's coming? All right, it's coming. The bird says the monorail is on its way. It has like a sixth sense about the monorail. Adam, he's on his last leg. He's on his last leg? Yeah, because he's on I like that. What do you think the odds of the monorail coming by sometime in the near future are? It's uh, slim to none, very good. Very good? All right. Fair enough. It sounds like an alarm of sorts, like an alarm for the monorail. I'm just gonna keep this rolling until the monorail goes by. It'd be horrible if the monorail just came by about 30 seconds ago, and then I have to sit here for another 12 minutes. I, fi I figure though, up oh, there, look at that. Look at that bird, you are correct. Yeah, a little shout out to the bird there, monorail bird. Look at that, monorail bird. That's your new name. Ow. Yep, thank you, Bert. Thank you. I know, I know. Right? So it spins around, and you can actually, it goes inside out, it turns into something. Oh, it turns into the orange or pineapple. Or My favorite bit is it looks like a clicker from The Last of Us. It does, it goes you're right. like that. I saw both of those, I thought they were two separate items. All right, is push working? Ouch. It is. Watch it, dude, like your trash just knocked off my shades. Yes, push his back again. Remember when he was over, what was he? he was over at Electric Umbrella for a while. Yeah. This is my lucky Now he's over here. Inside the Odyssey. All right, walking back over to this area. I forgot to show Donald here with his hoe, his bag, 
full of seeds. He's like, uh, he's like Johnny Appleseed, kind of like walking around. All right, nighttime edition as the monorail goes by. Gotta slowly start making my way out of here. Go over in the gift shop now on the way out. I just realized I didn't show this earlier, but there is a lounge fly right here. Orange bird lounge fly. Could these give the Stanleys a run for their money? The corksicle? They're $55. Are you still Team Stanley or Team Corksicle now? You know what? It just sits on the shelf. <laughs> but I like there's no straw. Yeah. You can close it like that. Fancy. I feel like you should switch and compare. I should be a corksicle guy. Okay, now heading out finally. I've been here a lot longer than I thought I would be, but I'm leaving now. Yes, love this sphere. And that's gonna do it for today from Epcot opening day of Flower and Garden, International Flower and Garden Festival. It was fun, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.